in the vision i find myself with the lord jesus christ we are going we are walking together we go in this horse that is this church when we opened the door i saw that there was a people in the bed of the lord jesus christ there was a people there was sitting on the floor some people were sitting in the seat of jesus christ some people was making some picture in the wall some people were sitting in the window some people was in the church they have no clothes some people was lay in the floor and some people was cleaning their feet in the in the bed of jesus some people was shaving their hair in the chair of jesus christ some people was naked some people there was a lot of things there that was not making sense so when jesus christ see this it was i just see it just go in very angry want to destroy everything then i stand before the lord i say oh lord time i don't talk about the time in my mind now in the vision i'm thinking like i'm i'm kind of i'm trying to find the way to speak to all these people like you know what please make peace here kind of clean everything here. arrange everything here before the lord destroyed this is what was going on in my mind in the vision so i understand that when the Lord wants to destroy myself, I stand and say, Oh God, give uh, time, time. I think that the Lord was kind of telling me like, you need to tell them because I stand before the Lord and I stop the Lord to destroy the church. Okay? So I hope you understand. Brother and sister, I want you to understand something here. The church is the house of God. The Lord tell me, I will show you something. This place, all these people you see, they are doing this. These are waiting for them. Just in the second, I found myself again in one place that we call that place a hell. My friend, that place is a very terrible place. It's a kind of place that is a vengeance place. It's a place that is like it's like it's swallowing people. It's a place that you know you, you feel evil. You feel like you know like welcoming people with this kind of evil intention, like like just want to destroy everything. We found ourselves there. And the Lord called one man. I saw that man come. That actually, this man, I know him before he passed away. He was in, inside the fire that was burning. And let me tell you something. And that fire in hell is not the kind of fire we have here. That fire in hell is a kind of fire that you having authority to. It's like it's, some, it's there to punish. So it's not just the simple fire that you put the wood in just burning simply. It's like it's, it's absorbing people. Like when you smoke, you will see that you absorb. It's absorbing people. Like it kind of like with the vengeance, with with anger. That place is the, is the anger of God. Is is that place? Is the evil place? So I saw this man. There. When I saw, I feel compassion of this man. I want to touch him. The Lord said, "Don't touch him." And then the the man start begging. Oh, all this. The Lord said, "There's no way." Again, and the Lord asked me to ask him if he did, there's the way to go up from that place. The man tell me there's no way. When you fall here, there's no way. There's no way. And then starting back in the law. The Lord didn't even mind. The Lord tell me, this place are waiting for that kind of church I showed you before. Brother and sister, if you say you are serving Jesus Christ and you say that the church is for Jesus Christ, let Jesus Christ be the master of his church. Don't sit in the chair of Jesus Christ. Do a thing you don't ask him, but you are doing in his name. You will end up in that place. Jesus Christ showed me a many church. People in the church. They teaching people how to become rich. How to wear a nice clothes. How to buy a car. How to become a prophet. All this kind of thing. That is not the message of Jesus Christ. When you go in the Bible, you realize that the gospel just... Jesus Christ gives us the gospel just to teach people how to live, love one another. If you see somebody hungry, you have to share with the person. This is the message of Jesus Christ. If you see somebody don't have clothes, you have two clothes. Go and share with the, your neighbor. But now, people now have created their own church. That they are teaching people another doctrine. Whenever you having problem today, they will tell you it's a demon make your life in this way. They will not tell you that maybe the problem is that you are the problem. Like maybe you are not kid give your life to Jesus. You are living double life. Of course, your life will never be okay. But the church is not doing that. But all these pastor and prophet, they sit in the chair. They are saying they are preaching in the name of Jesus. But let me tell you, Jesus tell me, they will finish all this kind of preaching. They will end up 
in the hell because jesus christ have only one approaching he tell us in the book of john i give you a new commandment love one another people in the church today they are not speaking with their parents because of the past to tell them your parent is uh, is a devil is your sister make you laugh become like this is your husband pastor have been destroying family the prophet have been destroying family all this in the name of jesus that's why in the beginning of this testimony the lord jesus christ showed me the church people was sleeping in his bed shower there sleeping there with woman people was sitting in his chair right in the floor you know everything was some people was sitting in the window some people was in the ceiling you know it was all oh, this is what people are doing today in the name of jesus people are sleeping with the woman wife of people destroying family in the name of jesus jesus said they will finish that kind of preaching they will end up in this place and remember i tell you in the vision when jesus christ want to destroy i stand to block the way to tell you brother he want me to share this message with you before the end of the day if you have been going to this kind of church that the pastor we always tell you the problem is the devil brother leave that church because a truly pastor will teach you the way of god the way of god is righteous don't make trouble to people love one another run away from evil if you have god have blessed you you see somebody in need if you can help the person and be quiet if you follow this way that means you know jesus christ jesus christ give new commandment love one another in the church today there's no love all is demon 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 all is a demon is the problem but brother and sister don't go to this kind of church you will end up in that, in that hell place you need to bring the fruit of repentance and the fruit of repentance is your love the way you're living your love with your neighbor why you say that you have in jesus christ you are not talking with many people around you you are not there's nothing changed in your life and you are blaming people left and right no the gospel is about you see when you read from genesis to revelation you will say that the gospel all is about teaching people how to uh, love one another why god destroys sodom and Gomorrah, all this country just because people was killing one another that's nothing they have nothing to do there with them brother and sister until the day you will realize that it's not the demon, you'll be free. You need to also have your own personal conscience. And that's another new way. All these fake fake church, some are sitting in the throne of Jesus. They've been preaching you how to grace wear, how to make the hair, to no wear this kind of thing, don't wear this, don't wear this, all this kind of thing. It had nothing to do to Jesus. People have been doing this, but their heart didn't change. The mental, they are evil. Just because people don't want you to know the Jesus. They don't want you to repent. They teach you how to buy NASCAR. If you believe Jesus Christ, how you become rich. You know, whenever thing happen to you, you put that in the devil. Is the devil the cause of the problem. In this way, you will not repent from your sin. You will keep blaming the devil until the day you will die. And the day you will die, you will realize, you say, when you will find yourself in front of Jesus, you will, see, you will not see devil there. Jesus will not even talk about the devil. He will say, my son, why you kill this person why you didn't forgive this person why you didn't share your food with this person i tell you to love one another why you didn't do it and you will say oh i'm sorry you will say okay go in hell you will say i didn't know you say read my bible from genesis to revelation it's about teaching people how to love one another this is the gospel there's no another gospel more than this all this gospel that they teach you to know the name of the devil, to know how to perform the me, all this is not the gospel of Jesus. The gospel of Jesus Christ is to teach people themselves how to, to love one another. Even you see somebody don't believe in God, your job, if he, he needs something, if you can help, okay? Just be honest. Like when God sees you, you, have, you are blameless. If you do this, God will be with you 100%. And one day you're going to be with him in heaven. This is the true gospel. And Jesus Christ tell me, the end of the day, all these pastors, prophets, those who are sitting in his throne, in his bed, they have taken his home, they will end up in the lake of fire, same like T.B. Joshua, end up there. So I hope this video helped you. May God bless you in Jesus' name.